Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Border Wise, and welcome back to From the Depths. And I'd like to apologize first of all, because I've probably put the title and thumbnail as something vaguely clickbaity, uh, given what I have in store for you, so don't worry, we'll get there. But I would like to invite you to come on a little journey with me. The thought process, in fact, uh, that led me to where this, well, where this video is going, and why I'm making it in the first place. So I was randomly mucking about, feeling unmotivated, as that, as it sometimes happens, it's, you know, it's how the game goes. And I thought to myself, I have not really made much in the way of things to do with paddles, or oars, or anything like that, so I want to start messing about with that. And, um, this is the first result. So, making oars in From the Depths is actually reasonably straightforward. It requires two spin blocks and some paddles on the end of a long stick, so... In this particular case, uh, we've got our little robot here, it's nothing much, it's just a little thing with like a stone keel and vaguely boat shaped. And we've got one spin block here that is set to continuous and it responds to forward and uh, main and since it's on the right it's set to your left. Then we've got another spin block that isn't actually controlled by anything, it just has an angle and that angle in this case is negative 20 uh, negative 20 degrees, and on the other side you've got similar thing, except it's set to your right, because it's on the left, it's the same spin block just flipped around, and the exact same setting there. Then, way on the end of it, we've got articulated paddles. So this is important if you're doing anything to do with, well, paddles. These things are, well, as per the description, is like, the articulated velocity only applies force in the forwards and backwards direction of the vehicle, this is useful for a boat requiring smooth motion as it removes unwanted upwards and downwards forces. I've tried this kind of setup with both of these. The articulated paddles are the way to go. In fact, I really don't see much of a point for the other one whatsoever. Maybe to, maybe there's some kind of esoteric use for them, but I don't know. But anyway, uh, this thing is quite funny because uh, when you set the oars to uh, full speed, well, this thing twerks itself uh, completely out of the water, so... Yeah, this is definitely the first test. In fact, you might be better off uh, not doing something like this. I've found that, I've actually found, and we'll get to this in a little bit, that uh, you don't want to be too back heavy with oars. You want to actually stick them more on the, wait a minute, nope, that was completely wrong. I want to stick them at the front, uh, because that way the thing gets pulled along, because that's what oars do. They pull things along. Uh, they do not push them. A propeller pushes, but an oar pulls. So yeah, that's quite helpful and handy. And I have not set these up very well, which is why the thing basically pirouettes on the spot. But if you set it to go like this, you've got something that's moving, well, basically 20 meters per second for free. And it's not like sails, it doesn't rely on the wind. So there's great potential for cheese here. Like, wonderful cheese, as a matter of fact. Uh, slightly disadvantaged by the fact that you've got a long, delicate stick, and that's your propulsion. So, that is the first one. Uh, then my second attempt is a little bit different, it's a little bit bigger. So, similar story, and this is the one where I really uh, cottoned on to the fact that, like, yeah, it's a good idea to, well, firstly, like, put the oars in front so they pull them along. And secondly, if you don't uh, set up that thing, uh, let's just take this fella on a long journey. And let's just sit on top of him. You'll see we're just shy of, like, consistently... What is the highest speed of this thing? It's about 17 meters per second. Which is not bad for something that, you know, doesn't have sails and, in fact, doesn't have any form of, uh... What do we call it? Doesn't have any form of engine uh, energy generation at all. So, great thing about not uh, putting the steering on, on the oars is that, you know, they just keep pulling forward and that's very nice. And you can imagine if you set these up to be a little faster, in fact, I'm going to do that right now because uh, it's hilarious to do. These things are not set to full tilt, but once you do set them to full tilt, uh, surprise, surprise, it goes faster. So, I'm going to do that, I'm going to do that, away you go, lad. And there we're now occasionally <laughs> moving sideways, this is so weird. So now we're uh, happily doing about 20 meters per second, which I think might be kind of the speed limit for this kind of thing. And if you set there, you'll see that it's constantly dipping in and out of the water. 
And you do have to make sure they come out of the water. If they're just in the water, just, you know, the forces cancel out. So yeah, this is very, very silly, and I love it, and I love doing silly things. And so, of course, I had to make a bigger version of that, and here is the big version. I wanted to see if you, like, made the, pro uh, the oars really long and heavy. That's a mimic sphere, by the way. And if you, uh... If you just really added a lot of pedals on there, like if it would make a difference, it doesn't make a huge difference. This, by the way, is in the uh, which in the new blueprint section. This is the Dreadnought hull A and B that stuck together, which looks very nice. Awesome that they put that in the game. And so we're going to do this, and we are going to sit on there. And these things are set to go full speed because I want to go fast. I want to go fast, fast, fast. And you can see this kind of doesn't look great. Like, if you want to make something that looks like an actual ship rather than something that breaks the laws of physics, uh, this probably isn't your best bet. Although, you could uh, potentially hide, like, the entire paddles um, with, uh, with decoration or something like that. Or even use light blocks or something. So, yeah, this is uh, about as big as I wanted to get. However, there's tricks uh, for this. Uh, if you want to still have the oars move slowly but still... Uh, pull them along and I'm going to cover that right now with the thing you probably clicked on this video to see and certainly the thing I've been looking forward to so I thought to myself like okay so let's actually make a paddle uh, wheel craft since I haven't actually done that before so this is my paddle wheel so basically I took the same hole that I just showed you I cut a slot in the back and sealed it up because that's a good idea and I made this giant as wheel so inside this giant as wheel is a whole bunch of paddles, just with metal blocks separating them out. They're all orientated in a... Well, let's show you the orientation. And let's turn that off first. So they're all kind of radiating outward, uh, like that. Their orientation doesn't seem to matter a huge amount, but it just seems to... I don't know. It just seemed cool to do it like that and keep them separate for... I don't know. It felt cool. So anyway, uh, this thing, again, doesn't use any engine power, although... Keep an eye on that bottom right, uh, that we're going to get there in a second, and it actually goes pretty uh, decently quickly. So, this thing's top speed is around... what was it? It was around... okay, never mind, ignore that. Uh, this thing is going around <laughs> 24 meters per second. So yeah, these this kind of paddle wheel set to full tilt is actually really good propulsion. I like it, because um, yeah, that thing isn't using any... Uh, energy whatsoever. Let's see, where is it? Where is the spin block? Just don't look at it like when it's doing that. You will be sick. So, let's see here. Stored impact. That's a lot of stored impact. So, motor drive is currently set to uh, zero, and uh, you might be wondering why exactly I've stuffed uh, so many, oh, I don't know, exhaustless engines in here, and also there's roll control over there, and a fair amount of pitch control. Why have I done that? Well, uh, spin blocks, and I don't remember exactly which update uh, this happened, is um, there's a thing you can do with them where if you add motor drive to them, like any force, uh, like any kind of control surface on them kind of gets a boost to how strong it is. So, oh, I don't know, if you set that up to 10 and it's this is using about... Hello. Power use is around... Ooh, 154,000. And now let's see how fast this thing goes. Let's see how fast you go, sir. You will go like stink, probably. Whee! So yeah, this is uh, how you make a really fast boat. <laughs> oh boy, you imagine if you like stick this on a hydrofall or something like that, or just something that's mostly out of the water, you will see something magnificent. Incidentally, the top speed of like a hundred something meters per second. Well, we're getting. Well, we're almost there. We're almost there. Let's send you on a journey, my dude. Far away. And we're still steering because we got these uh, rudders in the water. So, yeah, this is. Uh, <laughs> paddle boats are actually like really fast. Admittedly, this takes a huge amount of power, but. If you can just have more than more than one of these, and just they have just a smidge of engine power each, uh, that's absolutely okay. <laughs> We're coming clean out of the water. And the only reason we haven't uh, taken off into space is because. Uh, hold on. Let's see here. Uh, hello. Hello. 
Ah, uh, this happens sometimes. What was it? There we go. It's because that pitch control is doing overtime. Look at all those lines. <laughs> oh, it's magnificent. Oh, we're popping wheelies. Oh, we're riding dirty. Look at us. Whee! Oh, this is magnificent. <laughs> so this is kind of gimmicky. Uh, but I would absolutely love to uh, make like a functional craft uh, that uses this because it's just so good. This is a speedboat that is 150 meters long. And uh, actually, if you make something like a frontsider, because, by the way, this works in reverse. So if I, oh, I don't know, set the drive to minus that, we are going to pull backwards. And we're going to go backwards pretty much, you know, just a little bit... Uh, a little bit slower than we were going forward, so that is wonderful. I love this. And you can do this with the oars as well. So if you want to have just, you know, oars that kind of uh, go... Oh, that is screenshot worthy. Look at that. That's so good. Oh, I love it. If you want to have, like, oars that uh, move at somewhat realistic and not silly looking spitting the what's it, uh, you can do that. You can put some moto... Uh, motor oil you can put some engine power on them and they just go wee and it's fantastic so paddle wheels uh worth playing around with you at the very least you can get some free movement out of them good for cargo ships and at most you can have something that is doing a wicked dolphin impression actually like how fast we got <laughs> we've gone 100 we went over what was it let's see the top speed 123 meters per second oh i love it oh i love it so much this is so silly and we're actually using up more uh, power than we can keep up with. So, yeah, this is the extreme version. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed that. I certainly enjoyed playing around with these things. And thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Support me on Patreon or YouTube membership if you like. It really helps. And there's fun perks in it for you. Thank you to all my current supporters. And I will see you next time in From the Depths for more shenanigans. Farewell.